Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggies Rugby Review, where in this review... I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat! So this review is a new one. It's Yacht Club Root Beer, which is out of Rhode Island, according to the bottle. Um... You know, it's the first time I've ever had this one. Not a lot to say about it. Um, Yacht Club makes uh, definitely gives you the idea of something fancy, I guess. But it's also root beer, so how fancy can it be? Um, so let's go ahead and just dive into the ingredients. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients, which should be appearing right here. And um, nothing particularly uh, crazy going on here. You know, the average stuff. You got your carbonated water. You got your sugar your natural and artificial flavors really um you know and as always you know depending on what those natural and artificial flavors are they usually what ends up uh, creating the flavor of the root beer uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottle here um you know uh yacht club since 1915 it's just, it, you know it's got like a nice piece of artwork as the background and everything you know, it, it doesn't look like the label's probably changed a whole lot since 1915. It almost looks like something actually out of the 60s or 50s or something like that. But, uh, you know, nice little, you know, little piece of art, little piece of thing. Um, you know, again, not a whole lot to say about this one. It Again, Yacht Club kind of gives you the idea that it might be some kind of a uh, fancy drink or something like that. But, um... You know, it's also soda, root beer. Like, you don't really do that fancy. Um, I'm curious, for sure, something called Yacht Club definitely brings up certain images in your brain of what in the world it could possibly taste like. So, um, but first, let's go ahead and crack it open and get a little bit of the scent. All right, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what this guy smells like. Hmm. Um, so what does it smell like? Very, very licorice heavy, very anise heavy. Um, but not at first. It was actually like on the second sort of. You know, you know, let me let me do another one real quick here. Yeah, it, it doesn't hit you at first. It kind of hits you. I don't want to say on the back end, but it's almost like uh, the first scent was very like yeah, root beer. And then the second one, the second kind of whiff of it was more definitely like uh, more of a licorice flavor, which or something called Yacht Club. Uh, I, I know this will sound strange saying this, but there is part of me that kind of is like, yeah, it'll probably be probably licorice heavy or something. That seems like a fancier flavor. I, I don't know how else to put it. Like I feel like uh like uh like the 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 rich palate would enjoy something more honesty, more well, not so much creamy, more mm, I don't know. Um I'm also, you know, just I, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but that's just my opinion. You know what I get the I get the idea of like and who knows if anyone gets this reference at this point in time Thurston Howell from like Gilligan's Island drinking this and be like mm, lovey there's not much vanilla it's not very sweet it's perfect you know like that kind of thing but I mean I that is completely uh, you know just because of the name and I guess a little bit of the scent you know whatever I don't you know so let's go ahead and get into the um the pour in the foam ladies and gentlemen we have the trusty mug here now let's go ahead and see how attractive the yacht club is Almost like a delayed reaction is the best way I could describe this. Let's go ahead and get a taste of this before. It completely goes away, but it's not completely going away. Oh my, yes. Now, this is like the opposite of what I just experienced, where with the scent, 
the first thing I tasted was, or the first thing I s smelled was the root beer flavors. And the second uh, scent I got was the uh, anise and licorice. This, on the other hand, hits you right away with the anise and licorice, which was, I was like, ugh, not happy about that. Not, not crazy about it. However, in the back end, there's something sweet, there's something vanilla, there's something there. So, um, really, it's kind of surprising in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm excited to see how this ends up going. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the taste test. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. This one's a little bit curious. Um, how to describe it? It's a... Uh, it's definitely more on the side of the root beers that I'm not crazy about. Um, like I said, uh, it does feel like the kind of licorice flavors and um, those sort of spices are the things that are pushed forward a little bit. Now, it's not overbearing where it's like, this is gross, but it is definitely clear that that's what they're trying to push through now on the back end and everything there is more sweetness there is more vanilla it leaves a pretty good aftertaste actually but the actual flavor of the thing i'm not super crazy about and uh it's also not so crazy it's not it's not bad let's just go ahead and say that it's not necessarily like bad but uh it is um it's 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 not it's not the flavor profile that I prefer, but it's also not something I, I can sit here and describe for a long time to tell you what makes it different from other things because it is pretty standard tasting. It's just that the flavors that they um, went ahead and pushed forward uh, again are the ones that I'm just not crazy about. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the overall grade. So despite the fact that I'm saying that it's not really anything incredible or anything like that, it still is, it, it, it is standard, but with negatives, right? So, you know, nothing else to say really other than I'm going to have to give it a D. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's so in the middle. And like I said, because the flavor profile is, is the type that I do not prefer, give it a D, which means as I always like to say, if that is the flavor profile that you do prefer, if you do like a really kind of spice and licorice heavy flavor for your root beer, you would probably give this a higher rating than me. Even though, like I said, it's not, it's not super potent to make it gross for me. It is, it is, it is like I said, it, if it, if it wasn't for the fact that that was the flavor, flavor profile that they chose for it, I would probably give it a C because it is pretty much right in the middle. So for someone who does like those flavors, maybe they would put it right in the middle too. Maybe they would even go as high as give it to B. I'm not sure that's your prerogative, but for me personally, yeah, D. So that's it for this one. Go ahead and like and subscribe and comment or do none of those things and just enjoy the video. You can always catch me on my Twitch stream and um, that's basically it for now. So I hope you had a good time.